Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here with my lovely extra daughter, Alexandria. And today this head is busted yet again and a lot of people have been asking me to do braiding tutorials where we're doing like uh, braided designs, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one of those on her today. So we're gonna start off, I'm just gonna take this hair down, shampoo it, condition it. I'm gonna blow dry it out so that way it's fairly straight, not completely straight. And then from there I'll go ahead and get down with like all the braiding pattern stuff with you guys. So stay tuned, hopefully you enjoy it. And if you do, as always, give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share it with a friend, or leave me a comment in the comment box down below. Thanks guys so much for watching. Okay you guys, so I have this hair blow dried out like you guys can see here. And tilt down for me, Zan. Tilt forward, there we go. I have a small section sectioned off here from her parietal ridge up. Um, I've got this section here from about that middle part line from the crown on over uh, sectioned off and I'm going to start off on just this side here. Now whenever you're doing designer cornrows, you always want to keep in mind that your sectioning is going to be everything. That's what's going to help your stuff out with looking a bit more neat and professional and keep you from getting other things in the way that don't need to be there. So I'm going to start braiding in rows like this here and I'm just going to space them out I'll probably do a voiceover for that section just so that way I'm not having to go ahead and show you guys uh, while talking because it honestly slows me down when I'm braiding and having to explain. But that way you guys can see. So this hair has been really well moisturized. She's got a bit of jojoba oil in there right now with it blown out. Um, so yeah, we've got a little bit of a coconut oil and shea butter mixture on her scalp. So we'll go ahead and get started and I'll get you taken care of with the voiceovers. Okay, Glam Fam, so we're starting off going in an upward angle, as you can see here. I'm just heading, kind of angling, keeping in mind that the scalp is curved, or the head is curved. So we're going to be doing slightly curved lines that are going up towards the top. Now this excess hair here, I'm just going to pin back and out of the way. Whenever you're doing detailed design cornrows, you want to make sure that your sectioning is impeccable. So very small sections. And I'm just going to begin braiding this. By the way, this is not sped up at all. And uh, when we do speed up, I'll be sure to clue you in just so you know kind of what's going on, even though I think you'll be able to tell. So I'm just braiding this upwards. Once I get to her parietal ridge, I'm going to braid a little bit past it just so it doesn't come undone where I don't need it to. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop that section and head for the next one. So it's going to start off a little slower. Once I kind of get a pattern down, I'll speed it up for you. So we'll clip that off to the side. I love these clips, by the way. They're by Cricut. And we're going to go ahead and section off another small section about the size of a cornrow. And then from there, we're just going to clip that off and out of the way. So notice the time I'm taking on those sectioning. Uh, it, on the sectioning here, it, it makes a massive amount of difference. Just making sure you're getting those part lines really clean. So now that we've done that, I pinned it off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and part off another section that is about that same size. And these are, I'd say, between a quarter and eighth of an inch. I'm sorry if you're over on the other end of the world where everyone else is that actually doesn't use inches and uses centimeters. I don't know the conversion. So we're clipping this off again out of the way and we're just going to be uh, braiding this upwards in the same fashion as we did the first one. And we're just going to continue this pattern. So braid one, skip one, braid one, skip one. I know right now it probably seems like that makes no sense. Why aren't you braiding that? You'll see in just a moment, boo. So um, just so you guys know, you do want to make sure that your grip is tight on the hair you're braiding, but you're not pulling excessively tight because you don't want to cause undue tension around the edges, especially when you're doing design cornrows. They tend to feel a little bit tighter because they're going in multiple directions. So keep that in mind for the comfort of your client. You don't have to put your foot on their head to braid their hair. It's just not necessary to use that much excessive force. All right, so here I've sped it up just a little bit. Um, this is, I think, times two, so that way you guys can kind of see what's going on. I wanted to still kind of go through some of the detail without dragging it out for years and years. So still using clean sections and sectioning it off. I want you guys to kind of be able to see the angle in which I'm doing everything just so you kind of get my rhythm down. And then after this, we'll go ahead and move on forward. Now 
And you guys can see no wincing, no crying, nothing like that. She's totally comfortable. And let me tell you, as extra as my child is, she would show enough be showing out if this hurt. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have this portion braided up and you guys can see I've got a braid, a space, another braid, a space, and we just continue that pattern all the way through the head. And then from there, we're gonna go and do the opposite part, which is to take those braids and come on up the opposite direction. And I'll film some of that and then I'll go ahead and do some voiceovers for you. All right, so we went ahead and sectioned off one braid already, and then I'm showing you on the second braid. Now stay tuned, I'll show you exactly how I part it. I apologize now, I wasn't thinking about camera angles the first time around, so it won't be as visible that first time, but if you just keep watching, you'll get all of the detail you need. As you can see, my child is easily distracted. I promise, I'm not as forceful as it looks. This has been sped up. So uh, we're going to go ahead and clip off those sections after we finish them. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and part right on across. We're using about the same size subsections as we were earlier. And this is where I was saying, you can't really see as well, but you'll have a clearer shot the next time that I do this. So we're just sectioning off as though those braids uh, that we first did were not even there. And then we're just braiding up in the opposite direction. So we're just gonna go ahead and take them. Do not try to overthink it. If you don't know how to uh, do like a standard cornrow or you have a little bit of difficulty with doing stuff like this, I would suggest you go back, watch my first video on cornrowing and that way I can kind of explain to you exactly how to do this. You should not be thinking about what hair to pick up next. You should just be naturally braiding and if it happens to fall onto your braid, it naturally gets picked up. That is a massive deal when you're doing designer braids. If you're trying to crisscross and you're picking up that hair too early, you're gonna have massive gaps. It's gonna be very loose. So here you guys should be able to see a bit better because I'm coming from the underneath as I part it. So we're just going right over the top of those braids and parting it off. I'm gonna check my part lines and make sure that it looks like it's supposed to and continue. So once we're all done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now we've already got those done uh, going upwards. We're going to go ahead and do the other ones going the opposite way, just like this, and then we'll be good to go. So we finished that, and you can see this loose hair up top above the parietal ridge. Um, we are going to do something spectacular with that. So first we've got to start where they meet in the back and I'm just gonna cornrow those up the back of the head. Now you'll notice the positioning of my hands is a bit different here. This is actually the natural way that I braid. Uh, it's not the way I recommend because after hours of doing this, you will definitely have arthritis. <laughs> Don't braid like this. So once we get up to the end of this section, what I'm gonna do is actually just pin off this hair uh, and you guys will kind of see that here in a moment. So we're just gonna go ahead and braid that right on up until we get up to about where that parietal ridge stops. By the way, the parietal ridge is the curvature of the head, uh, where the head begins to round, kind of like where a man begins to bald. And we're just gonna pin that hair securely, and I like to do an X when I'm trying to get a nice secure pin. So I'm gonna put two pins in there crossing each other. Now we're gonna take this hair that we have on the sides and twist it and just bring it from side to side and pin. So you guys can kind of see how I brought it over, twisted it. I'm gonna pin it on one side and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up some hair from this side, twist it and add it in, which you guys will see here. They were picking it up. We're twisting it and bringing it right on over to the opposite side. Sorry you guys, these camera angles and things were driving me nuts and my camera ended up dying, so hopefully you guys get the deal. Uh, you'll still be able to get enough of it because I caught it early enough to make sure that we had a, a good enough charge to pick up the rest. So we're just bringing it back and forth just like this and I'm gonna pin. And then from there we'll pick up some more hair and bring it back over and just repeat that pattern all the way until the end. Now you might be wondering what I do when I get to the end. Just stay tuned, I'll show you that in a moment. I was literally just making this up as I go on the top, uh, just kind of freehanding it. 
Then once we get up here, you guys can see I get all the way up to the front and I've got this massive lump of hair here. So I'm just gonna take it and twist it and bring it back towards the back because I don't want hair in her face. She thinks she's grown when we have hair down in her face and we don't need that. I don't wanna have to fight some little six year old boy, um, but I will if I have to. So we're just gonna go ahead and pin it here and there and then I'm going to twist again and we'll tuck those ends right on into the middle section. So we're just going to uh, kind of make sure it's secure. Twist those ends. I'm sorry you guys can't see everything. Camera angles, camera angles. There we go. Uh, and then we're just going to tuck it underneath these other rolls and secure those ends in place with another pin. Now, of course, you can braid this up, whatever you want to do to make it look more neat and all that. But this is how I chose to do it because I change your hair up on a regular. So we slowed it back down just because I want you guys to be able to slowly get a take of all the sides. Isn't she gorgeous? I just adore her. That's my baby, y'all. All right, so here's from the side, and we're going to edit so you guys can see from, like, the side and all that again. There we go. So here is the side, and we're going to go around to the back, and then we're going to do some really wiggly movements and stuff for you to see the other side. I don't know what happened. I had, like, a seizure or something right here. All right, and there you guys have it. I hope you like it. If you did, let me know in the comment box down below or give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Take care and stay glam. Bye.